Hi, I'm Donna with Donna's Things. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in and coming to see what's going on on this side of the camera. And then, of course, if you are returning, you know my heart. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time also. This is the space where God and I create beautiful things. Ha. So, it's Friday. Friday Sews, a community that has been created by Jen over at Today in Jen's Sewing Room, where sewers, crafters, whatever your artistic abilities may be, record your videos. We talk a little bit about what our plans are. We talk a little bit about what's been going on. And of course, we talk a little bit about life. And so I, as always, have been enjoying being part of this wonderful community. Thank you, Jen. So what have I been up to? I always say you guys know that I'm always up to a lot but I'm not going to bombard you with a whole lot of things this Friday. I do want to share first one important make that I have, and this is Simplicity 8505. Simplicity 8505. I made this version here. This is, yes, View B. And this is what the line drawings looks like. This thing is a beaut. Now, the fabric, um, it's like a, it's a satin, but it's got a nice weight to it. it and it's, a, it's matted, it's not shiny. Now, the actual stripes, the stripes do go crosswise, and I decided to make it just the way the stripes go. I put my uh, yoke that's here, I did do that up and down. But this is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I love the way it turned out. Look at that. It's so pretty. The yoke is here, across here, and of course here. It has this V neckline. There is this um, additional piece. I don't even remember what they call it. But this square that goes on here. Mine didn't square out so much, so it's actually rounded, but I did get manage to round it the same on both sides gathered here. It has the sleeve, it's all in one, so here's the opening for the sleeve. Match those stripes up, you know, I always love that. And then this is the back. It is absolutely beautiful. I had been eyeing this pattern for a long time and I uh, just had not gotten a chance to make it. It does come down to the floor on me and, um, you know, it's a caftan, so I will be wearing it pretty much around the house, but I love it. Let me bring it over just a little bit more. I absolutely love it. The fabric choice was perfect. Now, when I bought this fabric, it was suggested to me maybe to make a pleated skirt. I had already had my mind on the caftan, so what I did was my caftan. Thought about doing the stripes up and down, but I didn't. It might have looked a little bit nicer. I don't know. I like it the way it is. I'm not very tall, so they say when your stripes go across, they make you look wider. I don't really know. It's a caftan. I'm going to enjoy wearing it. But I will be going out this weekend to purchase more of the fabric because I thought, okay, a pleated skirt might be nice. Let me try that and see what it looks like. And I'll probably get an extra two yards or something and try something else, a third garment, so that I use this fabric with three different types of garments. We'll just have to see. But I absolutely love that caftan. Now, they are uh, Simplicity 8505, and it says that it's good for batiks, cotton types, crepe, linen types, silky types, also in sateen, 
And then it says B also in crushed velvet. So the sateen would be more of what this fell into. It's supposed to have the opening in the back. Like view A, this one, has a zipper in the back, which of course, because you see how slim line that is. But this one actually has the opening in the back neck, but I didn't do that. Mine just pulls, uh, just pulls over. The other thing that I have been working on, which many of us have, is Project Dresser Girl 2023. Last Friday, I showed a couple of fabrics. Well, I have made three of those dresses. So this is one. I guess it's the pillowcase style. <laughs> I took the easy way out, guys, I'm gonna tell you. So this is one. I do have my pockets on here I have two pockets that's the back and mine has this um, I made my own bias tape so it draws through this shoulder is just a shoulder and then it go, goes around and ties on this side now what I did was reversed it <laughs> so that the little girl could have two dresses instead of one so just did that one and then here I just put one one pocket so that's one I made this is the second one that I made this one has that band on the bottom same style it's a little bit bigger but this one is reversible also so it reverses and has all um, the the other side the flip side well let me just show you <laughs> trying not to take it all loose but of course that doesn't always work this one I did regular bias tape the store-bought bias tape and I actually made it so that it tied if I can get it out off this hanger I'm sorry pulling it off the wrong way so this one um, reverses and looks like this the purple and the band from the blue is longer so this kind of like falls like an apron and it looks like this and this one i ran the storeboard bias tape um through both ends so it will tie on both shoulders this one has the pocket also told y'all i took the easy way out now i have four more to make i'm not sure which style but this is my third one this is the t-shirt dress i do have pockets i got a pocket on each side as you can see i gather now it's not reversible but i did line it with this pink under here just to see how clean it is under there just to make sure that the little girl's dress is sturdy and that of course it does not see through so I know I'm making two more of the t-shirt styles. That will give me five. And then I think I may go ahead and get a pattern for the other two. I do like the dress that, I don't remember her name, but Thoughtful Creativity, who made the pattern for Project Dresser Girl, the, um, I do like that pattern, so I may very well let my last two be that. And I don't know, seven I did last year. I'm doing at least seven this year, but it's still a little time left, so I may end up adding to it. But I know two more of the t-shirt style. I, don't you love this? <laughs> and uh, then I'll see what the other two will be. So those are the things that I really have been um, working on. I'm still working on my five-piece collection, which basically it's ready. I just haven't taken any photos for it. And I do have to take a photo for this one, which I will do shortly so that, uh, you know, it's ready when I get ready to post this video. Every week, uh, Jen proposes or has a topic, a forum topic, and today the question is, um, do you, well, it wasn't simple like this, but 
you prefer to use rotary cutters? Do you prefer to use scissors and why? Well, I'm old school, I use scissors. It's probably more out of habit than it is anything else because I do quilt and when I'm quilting and cutting that fabric, I definitely use my rotary cutter. But I, I just like using scissors. Um, I take, you know, nice strokes with them so that my cutting is even and most of the time is just as even if not more than it is for me on the rotary um, cutters but scissors is what I have been using I do like the rotary cutter but I go to them more than anything but give me one moment I'm sorry. <laughs> so the two scissors that I use the most, now I have uh, the zigzag, the pink and shears, <laughs> I call them zigzag. I have two sets of pink and shears. They are Fiskars. No, one Singer brand, one Fisker. I have a couple of Fiskars that are for fabric, but I don't use them that much. The two I use the most are these. Now this is just a Westcott brand that I got from Walmart, but they are sweet. They cut really nice. I bought these scissors about a year and a half ago. I think I paid $9. I saw them in Walmart recently, they're now $15. But even at the $15, they're really nice. So I use those a lot. And then I have my Gingers that I like to use. Now, I do want to get a pair. These are the seven inch. I do want to get some that are longer than nine inch because then those strokes are just a little bit longer. I do have a regular rotary cutter by Fiskars, but my favorite is my Martelli rotary cutter. Now, this will get away from you. I did really, really, really have to teach myself how to use it, which might be another reason why it's not always my go-to. But I'm a scissor girl, probably more by habit than anything else, but I enjoy using my scissors. So that's pretty much what I've been up to. I do have a fabric haul, just a really small one. I think it's five or six pieces gorgeous fabric but that's going to be on a separate video and I do have uh two other things that I uh that I made that I will post on a separate video also but that's pretty much all I have been up to this week so now we'll just talk a little bit about life not very much has been going on um, around here when we think about life, just enjoying the time that God has given me and my family since I have retired. Of course, you know, we're at the church now and that added a little something, something back to our lives, but that's always pleasurable. Anytime we can do work for God, it is a pleasure. So little couple of family members doing some fishing this evening so i'm looking forward to what they catch it would be nice if they catch some spots i love spots so it'd be nice if they catch some my husband always comes home immediately cleans the fish and then of course um cooks it and that's if they catch some that uh, he'll be able to fix tonight. So again, like I said, not a whole lot going on, just trying to live and uh, in the presence of God, you know, walk up right before him and before the people, being that light that shines, letting people know that you can make it, that you can do it, that your dreams are not a lie. Whatever it is, I want to be able to encourage someone, especially some young lady that's just trying to find her way uh, in this crazy life that she has ahead of herself. 
But that's pretty much that said. If you like the content that was shown here or what you heard, hit that like button, share my channel. Of course, if you have subscribed, again, I appreciate it. But even if you have not subscribed and you just like scrolling through, checking out Donna's things whenever you get ready, trust me, I appreciate that just as much. But more than anything, ring that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Especially, I have two videos coming up. My six-piece brown knit ensemble and then my wonderful fabric haul. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!